Hello everyone. Let's take a, a look at the code 1820. Maximum number of accepted invitations. Uh, it's a lot question. Let's take a look at this problem first. The problem is there are n, n boys and n girls in class attending an upcoming party. And we are given an n multiply an integer metric grid. The grid ij is either zero or one. If grid ij is one, that means and the ice boy can invite the Jewish girl to the party. A boy can invite at most one girl, and a girl can accept at most one invitation from a boy. So we need to return the maximum possible number of accepted invitations. Okay, so there are two examples. You can take some time to read the examples. And the constraint is mn is between one to um, 200. And let's take a look at some hint here. The first hint is, is um, we can see that the problem can be represented as a directed graph with an edge from each boy to the girl he invited. Second hint is that we need to choose a set of edge such that uh, no two source points in the graph have an edge with same endpoint. Yeah, since at uh, one girl can be accepted at, like by one boy and one boy can like choose at most one girl. For third hint is the problem is maximum bipartite matching in the graph. Okay, so let's take a look at how to uh, solve this problem. Okay, I will use the second example. So uh, I just write this graph to represent relations. So um, B1 has two uh, edges, which is uh, G1 and G3. B2, the second board has only one edge, which is G1. The third board has only one edge, which is G3. The fourth board has three edges, which is G1, G2, G3. Okay, so this is graph representation. This is uh, the uh, matrix representation. Okay, and I need some um, variables, for example, girls, which means um, like for the girls with index zero, um, like which boy assigned to. And uh, like uh, at first, all girls are available. They are not being like uh, invited by any boys. So it's negative one. For example, if uh, G1 is invited by B1, then the index will become zero here. If, if G2 is invited by B4, this index will become three. And the match uh, is our answer. We want to get the maximum match here. Okay, so we just follow every board here. For B1, we want to find a girl to match B1. Then we just follow all the girls. At first, we iterate G1, and B1 and G1 has an edge, and G1 is available. So we just match B1 with G1. So this becomes zero and match becomes one. Okay, next we'll try to find the girl for B2. Then we do the same, we just follow all the girls. We start with G1. B2 and G1 has an edge. So we try to assign G1 to B1. Now we make G1, um, B2, G1. Then we try to find a new girl for B1. Since previously uh, G1 was uh, connected with B1, so we need to find a new curve for B1. And uh, it's very similar. We just follow all the curves, and we find G3 and B1 has an edge, and G3 is available, so we assign G3 to B1. Okay, so we assign G3 to B1, then we update all the curves. So for G1, it matches B2, so the index is one. For G3, it matches B1, so the index is zero here, and match becomes two. Now, for B3, we try to assign G3 to B3, since it's only one edge. If we assign G3 to B3, we know that and G3 was assigned to B1, then we try to find B1 new girl. And uh, we just iterate all the girls, and the G1 and the B1 has an edge. 
So we assigned G1 to B1 in this case, but G1 was also assigned to B2. So we try to find a new girl for B2, but we cannot find any uh, available girls uh, for B2. So if we add B3 here, we cannot increase our match. So it's uh, useless to add B3. So match is still two. Next, B4. Okay, we try to do B4, G1. We try to assign G1 to B4. But G1 was assigned to B2. So we try to find a, a new match for B2. But there's no other edge. So we cannot do B4, G1. Then we try to do B4, G2. Yes, it's fine since G2 is available. So B4 and G2 is match. And we up, update the girls and match. Okay, so we get our final answer, three. Okay, let's take a look at the implementation. So we have a girls vector here and we have an integer match. Finally, we just write a match. In this for loop, we just follow all the boards. For each board, we try to add it to our answer. So we try to find a girl for you, for this boy, you. But we also want to make previous boys that have girls still have girls. If we can add you, then we can just increase our match. Okay, now let's take a look what this function is. For this bipartite function, if we try to find a new girl match you. So we just follow out girls here. Yeah. If um, if this boy and girl uh, does not have a connection, we just continue. If this girl has been visited, we just continue. Otherwise, we try to match this girl V to this boy U. So we uh, set this say V to two. And if this girl V is available, we can just assign this boy to V, right? Otherwise, if it's not available, we try to assign this girl to this boy. But this girl was previously assigned to a boy. So we find this boy and we try to find this boy a new match. So we need to recursive call here. So in simple case, this girl V is available. We can just assign it, then return true. Means we find a new girl for you and we can also increase our match. Or if this girl is not available, we assign this girl to this boy. And for the previous boy attached to this girl, we try to find it a new party. So there are two cases here. Okay, let's take a look at um, like how to interpret this code. Like I just keep the match here for the previous example, B1, G3, B2, G1, B4, G2. Now imagine that we are adding a new boy B5. If B5 has a neighbor G4 that's not assigned, it's very simple. We can increase our match. We find a new girl for B5. Otherwise, um, let's say um, for this B5, it occupies G3, but G3 was assigned to B1 previously. So we find a new girl for B1. We find B1 have a neighbor G4 and G4 is available. So in this case, we can also increase our match. Or like there's another case like B1 try to occupy G3. So we've tried to find B1 a new match. Then we try to assign G2 to B1. In this case, we try to find B4 a new match. Then we find B4 has enabled G4 and G4 is available. So in all these cases, we can increase our match. Okay, that's it. See you next time.